hey guys and welcome back to another video okay so this video is going to be all about how to install zam on your computer and how to upload your web pages into zam which is a local server so with that make sure you have already downloaded zam from the internet so i've downloaded mine and this is it in the folder here so let's just open it and start with the installation let's go okay so you right click take one as administrator so just wait for it for the setup to load let's just wait for it yeah, okay let me just minimize that okay just wait for it for the setup to load okay so when it appears like this it doesn't really matter but it just it just indicate that a user account have been activated on your system which is that the account that you're using on your system so it doesn't matter just take okay okay this is a setup just take next now these are all the the utilities that comes with ZAM. We have MySQL Server, FileZilla, FTT, FTP Server. We stand for File Transfer Protocol. That's the full meaning of FTP. And MyQmail Mail Server, Tomcat, and all the rest. So just take next. And this is the location. The default location always is the C um, drive. So just take the next and take next. Take next. Okay. Now. Um, just wait for a few minutes for it to install so I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back when it has already been installed so okay when Zam have installed make sure you add the icon to the desktop this is it I've added it so just go ahead and run Zam right click take as run as administrator just wait for it okay take um, you wanna use English because I understand English Yes, I cannot take this other language. So take save. When it's open, start Apache and MySQL. Now go to your any browser that you have and type. Let's just enter into Firefox. Go to any browser that you have. Okay. So type localhost. When you type localhost, you should have this um, dialog box appear. So click on my PHP mind me. So just wait for it to load. Okay, now you have entered PHP mind me. Now what you need to do is you want to copy your website that you have created that your web pages now into the zam directory now to do that just let's just keep this let's minimize this okay now for example i have mine here school project that you uh, this is my, these are my web pages that are i'll be created creating okay so now we need to copy all of this now let me just take open into this let me just need to compress it all I just compress this so I'll just compress that first these are the web pages I want to upload in XAM so that I can view them on my local server on my machine so just wait for it to be compressed okay this is it so let me just change the name to my website Okay, you can put you can put any name so that was my name. Okay, now control C, copy this, and come to your local DC. This is the default directory of ZAM. So this is ZAM folder. Open it. Now you want to go to HT Docs. This is where all your files will be viewed on your local server. Now paste that zip file here. When you paste it here, make sure to extract it. Okay. So now let's extract it. Okay, okay, nice. Okay, now I don't longer need this. So let me just delete that. Now go back to your browser. Okay, so let's come back to home. Now type localhost. 
forward slash the name of the folder I want to access that is it was my website that was the name that we gave to our folder which was my website so type my website okay and forward slash we want to to access the index index.html file first html okay server not found so we made a mistake let's go back and rectify the situation okay now let's come back okay so let's do this one more time local host so here we know that these are index.html file uh, 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 we pasted our file here okay these are index of HTML that we want to access so we just need to type localhost and this directory that'll be all localhost slash index dot okay now um i have the solution guys so the problem is let's copy all of our files i'll put here let's create a new folder and put all of our files in here let's create a new folder as web okay now let's put all of the all of our files that we copied into web if we don't do this it won't go so this was our index put it in there this was a form so all of your files that you copied make sure when you come to exam make sure you create a new folder and paste it all in it okay yes i had this this image put it in the web css goes in web okay git goes in web user queries goes in web so this were all my folder that all my web pages that I copied for my machine. Okay, now let's do this one more time. Let's go. Okay, local host. Now we need to access web slash index dot html. Oh, server not found again. Let's rectify this one. So let's do this one more time. We made a mistake in our directory. So you need to be very careful when you're inputting the directory here. So go to local host. Now you need to access the folder inside the HTD which is a web folder and now you need to access the index.html file okay okay this is it guys well done so this is my web page that I was creating this is was a school project that I was doing so now you can access this is your website that I have hosted on your browser in your local host using exam as you guys can see this is exam logo here this is it so this is all of it guys this is how to upload your web page into zam and how to install zam on your machine so thank you very much for watching thank you for your time and i hope you support my hard work by leaving a subscription liking this video sharing to other people that want to learn more and i hope you leave a comment down on other videos you might want me to upload about and god bless you thank you for your time